Hello, this is Eric Cantrell from Barco's Media Lawn Show Control Division, and this video is a brief preview of some of the new features of Media Lawn Manager version 6.7.0. First of all, Manager has a modernized interface theme, giving the application a fresher look and feel. New variables have been added to the Manager device, showing more information about the PC or virtual machine that Manager is running on. You can now see statistics about CPU load, memory usage, IP addresses and host name for the PC, and the IP addresses of the client machines with active connections to Manager's web panels. In the user interfaces, we have added new properties for dynamic user screen objects, such as Visible and Enable. These, along with the properties such as background color and text color, are able to be updated using the manager command object control. In this example, I have a button that shows and hides a hidden button. And that toggle button's status enables or disables interactivity of all the sliders. When I move a slider, I'm updating the color of the button at the top of the screen as well as the text color on the button below it. Dynamically modifying user interface elements will greatly simplify user interface design, especially if you have different modes of operation for different types of people, or you ever need to disable a button while a task is running. Something else that is new is the file location where Media Lawn Manager is keeping MXMs, MRCs, low-level communicator drivers, and infrared drivers. Windows's program files directory is read-only under Windows 10, so when you try to save a new low-level communicator driver, for instance, it has a tendency of getting lost in a user directory called Virtual Store. This is confusing for most users, so we have moved the driver files to the program data directory, which you can access by typing percent program data percent and then pressing enter. Having all the different driver files together in one place makes it easier for manager to help you find the driver you're looking for. The new device dialog box now includes all MXMs, low-level communicator drivers, and script drivers all in one location, and adds a search field to make it easier to find the right device driver quickly. When you select a low-level communicator driver, it loads the low-level communicator MXM and preloads that driver into the MXM, saving you steps. I mentioned script drivers earlier. An update for the MXM Media Lawn script is the ability for scripts to communicate directly with devices using the network or other Media Lawn resources. A new feature of MXM Media Lawn script allows scripts to be loaded in a simplified mode where only the setup interface is displayed to the users. If a user wants to enter programming mode, more options become available. But for users who just want to use script MXM to control devices that other people have written script drivers for, the interface is simplified. Scripts can now contain not only device variables, but commands with parameters that trigger the appropriate JavaScript functions and pass the appropriate values to those functions. Not all script functions need to be accessible from Manager either, so private functions are now filtered from the list of functions that Manager can see. Lastly, Media Lawn drivers of all types, MXMs, MRCs, low-level communicator, and script are all collected in Media Lawn's new online driver hub, available at http colon slash slash drivers.medialawn.barco.com. These are just a few features of Media Lawn Manager 6.7.0. Please head on over to Barco's website and download the software today to try it out in demo mode yourself.